For practice it, self-check 1.22 tricky. We are asked, what is the output produced from the following program? So we are given this program here. We're given a public class. We're given a main method. And we're also given two um, methods right here. We're, giving, we're given message one. We are given message two as well. So we are going to look at all of these. First, in our main class, which is what is being outputted, we have message one. So we're going to call message one. Um, this is the way we call it, message one, and then parentheses, and then a semicolon. So we now look to message one, and we just write what's in it. We have a system.print line statement. So we're just going to print, this is message one. Now, this is the only thing in our message one, so we are going to go back to our main method, and we have message two parentheses. So we are calling method two now, or message two. That the, we are calling the method message two. In our method message two, we have the statement, um, this is message two. So we're just going to print this out. This is message two. And then we see that we're actually calling message one in our message two method. So we're just going to look in our message one now, have this code, and print it out again as this is message one. Now we look back into our message two because we finished with this line right here, and our message right here is done with message two. So we're just going to print out done with message two. Now we can finally look back to our main method because we've finished message two, we finished the method call with this, and all we're left with is to print done with main. So you're just going to write done with main like this with a period, submit, and we have passed the test. Again, this message one parentheses is calling our method message one that we have written outside of the main class, but still in our public class. Same thing with message two.